Welcome to the Dating Kinky Podcast, a cast about love, sex, romance, and kink. At the beginning of this year, when I started my Thursday throwback recordings, I shared an experience of making a submissive orgasm on the living room floor in the middle of a play party with only a light touch and dirty talk. Today's throwback is about an experience that happened before that, maybe a few months before. And it was not really sexual at all, even though it was something amazing. Even to this day, my partner and I discuss what this meant, how it affected us, and the bond it created, revealed. Whatever it is, it's intense. And even now, eight years after, it's kind of hard to talk about. But you know what? I'm okay with that because you're all kinky family, right? And you won't judge my moment of woo, right? (laughs) This was originally posted on January 10th, 2016. The most amazing non-sex I've ever had. A little over two years ago, right before Christmas, I had an experience unlike any other I've ever had. And I've been one of the most enthusiastic explorers of the think-off or hands-free mental orgasms I can imagine. For a long time, I kept this to myself, sharing it only with a select few because, well, it's a bit crazy. In my mind, a lot crazy. But it happened. And when I went looking for information, I couldn't find anything that really described my experience, and that made me feel a bit crazy. So I've finally gotten up the guts to share, just in case there is someone else out there that goes through this and needs confirmation that they are not alone. Okay, here goes. I was living in Wilmington at the time and had come to Raleigh for some time with friends and a party over the weekend, then planned to head to family for holiday Sunday. On Friday, Pet and I had a picnic lunch, just chatting and enjoying ourselves. High sexual tension, but we were going to put off consummating until the next day when we'd have time to do it right. Later that day, we met after he got off work for a couple of drinks and a snack before I was due to go spend the evening with some friends. We spent the time talking about pretty deep issues, like what are soulmates? Is our connection unique? With him asserting it was, and me demurring, and how lucky we were to have found each other a few months before. Enjoying it, as we do. It's fun for us to delve into ideas and concepts related to what it is that we do together, to share fantasies, and just generally examine ourselves together. So as he walked me back to my car, we were in a good mood. Not very sexual, but deeply affectionate. I offered to drive him back to his car since he'd walked to meet me, and it was cold outside. We both climbed into my car, and as he is wont to do, he took the opportunity once I was strapped in to climb over and kiss me. But he didn't kiss me. He hovered. We've done some play with hovering our mouths just over one another, sharing breath and talking during sex, and it's been incredibly hot. So this was not a huge departure, except that we weren't really being sexy. He hovered, and we breathed each other in for a moment. Then he placed his right hand lightly on my bare chest above my tank top, skin to skin. I felt a wall of energy hitting me and holding me firmly still in my seat. Not unlike I remember feeling when I touched an electric fence as a young teen, but not hurdy, just very charged, very powerful, and I was unable and unwilling to disconnect. My entire body was electrified with his hand and mouth as my circuits. I could feel him inside me, with me, in my head and body. It was like we flowed together into my body through his hand and into his body through our breaths, circling around and through each other. Time stood still. I had no idea how long we were locked like that. Later, I calculated it out based on the time I had planned to leave in the car and when I actually did, and it was 20 minutes, give or take. It was orgasmic without being sexual at all. When he did slowly pull away, I felt a piece of him, his energy, was left behind inside me, and a keyhole, for lack of a better term, was left in my chest for him to access at any time. I also felt a commensurate piece of myself went with him. We 
didn't even properly say goodbye. We just gazed at each other for a while, and he said, in a bit of a dazed voice, that he would enjoy the cool air walking back to his car. We parted and didn't text for 15 minutes, which that's incredibly unusual for us. And when we did, it went something like this. Him. Wow. Me. Yeah. Him. Really. Wow. Me. Yeah. Him. What the fuck? Me. I don't know. Was that on purpose? Him. No. Wow. Me. Yeah. (laughs) I felt like I'd just been hit by a Mack truck and was supercharged up and at the same time unable to form coherent thoughts. I'd read about similar things in Tantra, so I knew they could theoretically exist, but I'd never heard of it happening spontaneously like that, in that intensity, outside of some sort of fantasy novel, usually involving magic or the supernatural. In Tantra, they've always said it can happen after a lot of practice, breathing exercises, and in certain positions, not spontaneously. And I've never read about it being quite like this. They describe a warmth, a flow of energy or sunshine, not getting nailed to your car seat by lightning. I felt a little crazy. Didn't want to tell anyone for fear of being locked up. He felt the same and had no idea who he could tell. We ended up not having any sex that weekend, just exploring this connection and talking. The follow-up to this is, we can activate this when we choose. It can be manipulated into amazing think-off orgasms as well. He felt much the same things I do by description, and even ejaculated a small bit after many, many shockwaves. We can feel it when discussing it and even feel each other at a distance, like from my parents' place in Louisville. I've done think-off hands-free mental orgasms many times, and they are fucking amazing. They can rack my body and drive me wild. This is different in feeling. If the think-offs are like a cattle prod creating an immediate reaction, this is like those scenes in the movies when they plug in the cord to light the whole football stadium or concert arena. I've spoken about this with a few friends. Only one has ever experienced anything like it before, even the most world-savvy ones. Several have expressed awe and how lucky I am. Some have even said they would not want that with anyone as it would be too much vulnerability for them. I'm pretty damned amazed by it and I'm glad I've gotten the chance to experience this in my life. It has connected us on an even deeper level than I could imagine. Over the past two years, our connection has remained strong. I've not found much more than I did in the first Google search I did about what this could possibly be or where it might fit into various practices or religions or science. I still feel a little bit crazy because, well, I'm a science girl, not a woo-woo, airy-fairy type, and I can find no science to back this up, so crazy. On the other hand, there is no religious, cult, crazy pants stuff out there that I can find exactly like this either. So I may be crazy anyway, my own brand of crazy, but I like it. Fire away with any questions or comments. If you know anyone who's had similar experiences, please do pass this along. I'd love to compare or just bond over this. As a note, even these years later, I still have no more idea of what happened. One person online who identified as a demon suggested that my pet or I or both are special types of humans and we acted as catalysts for each other to unlock or fulfill our full potential. I don't know. Maybe demons do exist and he's right, but whatever happened, it's been an amazing journey. Thank you for joining me today. If you loved this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me on our new apps available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Dating Kinky is built by Kingsters for Kingsters, Polly, 
queer, trans folk, and anyone not quite vanilla, and it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes, and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We're on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. Also, find me on the new Moan app in beta for iPhone. I'm Miss Nookie there. T-H-E-M-O-N-A-P-P dot com. Have a kinky day, and I'll catch you next episode.